is good, Nitrous Gang, and welcome back to another reaction on this channel, man. You guys are tuned in with your boy Nihilus, man. Check me out, okay? Today we have this video right here. Bad Baby goes on Instagram Live and opens up about her management controlling her look. We're going to be watching this video right here about her opening up. You guys know that Bad Baby a little while ago had a black fishing scandal where she, like, made her makeup really, really dark. She had uh, box braids and stuff like that, and a lot of people were trying to say that she was just trying to take the look of the black culture. You get what I'm saying? Me personally, I don't think she was because that's just the industry look. I feel like she was just a girl who grew up in the culture trying to imitate that look. You get what I'm saying? Can you call it black fishing? I guess you can because she's white and you know what I'm saying? But supposedly now she's claiming that all of that was controlled by her management. All right. So we're about to hop right into this video, man. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you do leave a like down below on this video. And make sure you guys do subscribe to my, my vlog channel and my main channel. The links are in the description. I am going to be posting very little content while I'm here on Miami. So without further ado, we're about to get right into it, man. Let's get it. She's on IG Live. She got 4,598. How did you jump to 8,000? Shit. And just so y'all know, because I know a lot of y'all are young children and y'all don't understand um, how it works when people get waxed. Um, you have to wait at least two to three, or no, three to four weeks for the hair to grow back to what get she, waxed Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And is this the right video? What the hell is she talking? Bad baby, Insta Live opens up about her management controller. What the hell is she talking about? I don't want to know about your waxing schedule, sweetheart. I don't like this picture. Over here talking about wax. I don't want to know about that shit. I don't want to know about your wax schedule. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Just joshing. Yo, let's get to the. It's a fully grow back. And then you have to get waxed again. Like, for example, like I lasered. So, like but why are they talking about this this shit right here, bro? Let me ask you a question, bro. What is she talking about? I clicked on this video not knowing what to expect, so I'm just as confused as you guys are. She literally waxes everything. Her leg. Oh, I don't what? care. In a picture or what? That video that Adam just posted. Again, Adam doing stuff without my permission, but you know it's it is what it is. I never get to say so. It's my life, but you know I don't get to. Here we go. What do we miss? What do we miss? We found it. We found it. What do we miss? What do we miss? We found it. But what do we miss? Again, Adam doing stuff without my permission, but you know it's it is what it is. I never get to say so. It's my life, but you know I don't get to that many type of say so on what goes on. So Adam posted a video and then they started going ballistic. <laughs> Being famous. Trust me, bro. This is not... Everyone thinks, oh, I want to be famous so bad. No, the fuck you don't. Be grateful that you can pick your hair color and you can pick your your this and you can pick what how you want to wear your hair. You can pick what clothes you want to wear. You can pick how you want to do this and how you want to do that. Because when you're famous... Well, at least in my situation. I don't know how other people be doing it, but in my situation, if I don't know exactly what these people say, I get death threats, literally. So. Wait, What? So what you said if she doesn't do what the people say, she gets death threat. I don't understand that. Now, I know that your management team has a lot of control over what you do and what you say. That's obvious because they want to have a certain image because they're making money off you. They want to, you know what I'm saying, make sure that you're catering to your audience the best. But death threats, that's steep. Yeah, pretty much. She's I like, I don't agree. Literally. Yeah, I don't know how long it took for me to... Literally, when I dyed my hair black, I had to just do it. And then it was like... Oh, we got the lag coming. Cause I told them I was like, "Look, y'all don't want my hair dyed." I used to literally cry, bro, right? Real tears. Like I couldn't wear no dresses. I couldn't wear no nothing. If I didn't wear a hoodie and jeans and Jordans and have my hair in that red ponytail, oh, it was, uh, it was up, it was up. It was just a fucking hell scene, like. Wait, like, that's yeah, OD. I used to cry over that shit all the time. Like, why can't I dye my hair? Why can't I wear this? Why my hair was literally coming out in clumps from it being dyed and held up in a pump. My hair was getting dyed every two weeks to the point where even my hairstylist, who was, she was a great hairstylist. She worked in Beverly Hills. That bitch made a lot of money. She didn't give a fuck about just dyeing people's hair. She really cared about the people. And she told my manager, she was like, look. You cannot keep doing this to this little girl's hair. She's 15 years old, and she's not going to have any hair by the time she's 20 if you keep doing this to her. 
And he Damn. was like, well, this is her brand. If it's going to make her money, then that's what we have to do. Da, da, da. And then the lady was just like, all right, bro. Like, I don't know what to tell you. That's just because they're making money off of her. That's OD, though. <laughs> With no hair on her head. Right. Listen, when it's a dollar sign attached to that shit, bro, people don't care. As long as you're making them that money, bro, they could, it, it could literally be, we can sell Danielle's body parts, her arms and legs and her fingers for a million dollars a piece. Them motherfuckers gonna start cutting me in half and selling me on eBay. <laughs> She's wallet. It's okay. You She's wallet. Some you got the right one. You'll be fine. Oh, actually, let me get the left one too. We about to get two thousand for that one. Let me get that one. <laughs> yeah, that's sad though, bro. It's really sad. Is- it's really sad how the industry really controls these people. Even even the big mainstream artists that you guys don't even won't even expect. Meg Thee Stallion. Uh, what's it called? Cardi B. Uh, what's it called? Ruby Rose. Uh, what's it called? Uh, 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 who's another one? What's her, What's the girls called? Like people like SZA, Janet, all of all of these girls that you guys listen to, you know what I'm saying? They're all being controlled, bro. Some way or another, it's the management team. Not cut out to Men too. Make Men too, bro. Guys too. Press for that. You know that. Press for what? I'll keep them They can press. They can leave if they want to. Too. I don't give a fuck. Yes, she does. Because if she starts making money, she's going to be sad. Let's be honest. Dr. Phil. Somebody said Dr. Phil. Yeah, that, bro. Mary! You better have fired that manager. She's not going to fire the manager, bro. Manager's making her money. Let's be honest. Well, anyways, like I was saying, this fame life ain't what it, could, ain't what it made the scene to be. How the fuck to say it? That's a fact, though, bro. You gotta wake up on exact schedule, and if you don't, bro, it's, a, it's really the threats I can't stand. Because I, if I, listen, if I'm late to a session, if I'm two minutes late, if the session starts at 8 and I get there at 8.05, I'm getting my ass ripped, bro. Like, stupid. But it's funny because I've watched the same people who ripped me sit outside and wait for Flow Rider, wait nine hours for Flow Rider to start, show up to a session. But God forbid I do that shit. Oh, hell no. Who is Flowrider? You know who Flowrider is? Shotty had them apple bottom jeans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that nigga's gone, bro. He lost his career. His career is done for. Him. Somebody said they work for you. They they supposed to work for you. That's how that's how they make it seem. Getting put onto a small screen. You work for them. And everybody just gets to judge you from that. They are they. There's literally called like they put it in perspective of oh like people say oh I need a management. That's fine. I need management. I'm going to hire management to do this for me. Nah, bro. There are a lot of management teams that look for you. They're making money off of you. Remember that. They're making money off you. They're maximizing or getting you, make, giving you more opportunity, but they're making money off of you. So you're working for them. It's the same reason why she has to do this stuff like this, work on schedule, wear this type of hairstyle, wear the same dress, blah, blah, blah. She's working for them. They're making money off of her. Let's be honest. Your friends with... Any type of hairstyle you wear, any type of clothes you put on your body, anybody you associate yourself with, like what? That shit don't even make sense. Damn, hold on a second. Did you see them that them cheeks clapping in the background just now? Did y'all where see Did y'all? Did y'all am I tweaking? On your body, anybody Look at this shit. You associate yourself with, bam, like what? bam. That what the? Not <laughs> no, that's OD, bro. That's OD. And be able to make my own decisions and pick what I want to do and how I want to do it and live a happy life rather than be miserable following everybody's order and doing this and doing that just to have a couple million in the bank account. I know that sounds like a lot of people will be like, oh, okay, yeah, no, I'll still do it for the money. But, bro, you, you got it. It's deep for 10 minutes. Like, you were literally attacked by swarms of people. But yeah, like imagine not being able. Imagine you just want to go to the gas station, get some juice, get some chips. Can't even do that. For you, can, you couldn't even be out of the Damn, bro. Because listen, this is really the thing that people don't understand. And I had to make sure I made this clear to a lot of my friends because people don't understand this. They're always like, oh, why don't you just want to come out with us? Why don't you just want to do this? Listen, there could be someone who has a gun or got a group of bitches with them or whatever and ain't got nothing to lose. And they could be like, oh, that's that bad baby bitch right there. Let's go kill her or let's go jump her. Fuck it. We're going to be on the news. We're going to get our names out there. Something we ain't never did before. We don't care if we go to jail for the rest of our life. We don't care if we go to jail for.
for a couple days or a couple months, we still gonna get our name out there. Fuck it. Like people really, people are really crazy and really think like that. Yeah, bro. People, yeah, I understand. People really do shit for clout. Honestly speaking, but look, I'm gonna end this video right here, man. You get what I'm saying? I just want to understand from her perspective what the hell she was going through and why the hell she was out here cat blackfishing and stuff like that. But that is going to be the end of this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you do leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And stay tuned to Nitro TV for more content. I'm going to catch you on the next one, bro. Peace.